What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. So in this video we're going to be talking about the Halloween franchise again and going over the latest on where we currently stand right now regarding this whole rights stuff and the battle or the news that's slowly been coming to us as early as July of this year and kind of going over where we currently stand and I'll be disclosing a bit of news that is expected to come around Halloween by the time this is out and depending on how it goes, I guess it could be announced sooner rather than later. What I'm going to be going over is made apparent by the video thumbnail and the video title. So I'm going to, again, be going over mostly the biggest thing will be where Halloween currently stands. But I'm going to work my way up to that by recapping everything we've been learning since July of this year. So earlier this year in July, reliable Twitter scooper sent stuff let it be known that executive producer Malik Akkad had already heard multiple pitches, both formal and informal, about where to take the Halloween franchise next. But nothing is set in stone and any ideas will need to be shopped around to new studios, distributors, Blumhouse is out and a TV series is on the table. They've also been the one to conf not confirm, but let us know and going off of their track record, they are very reliable. They let us know that the next project we get from the Halloween franchise, as much as I wanted this, and as much as I know a lot of you might have wanted it, it won't be a legacy sequel to Halloween 4 with Danielle Harris. Now, granted, that might still happen, but apparently there's some beef that exists between Malik and Danielle. So then more recently, Bloody Disgusting did confirm what Sinistuff was saying earlier this year in a recent of uh, a recent article that came out several articles that came out for not only them but also from one take news they confirmed those those bit of details from Sinistelf and did disclose that Malika Khan's Trankus International Films is actively shopping the rights to the Halloween franchise around Hollywood. For clarity, the article mentions, while Miramax co-owns the film rights, Trankus is the sole owner of all television rights. A massive bidding war was ongoing with several parties bidding at the chance to bring Michael Myers back to life. A24 was revealed to be leading that bidding war for TV rights to Halloween. However, Trankus, I want to point this out, Trankus is open to both film and TV projects, so that's very important to remember. And regardless, Miramax will still be involved since they co-own film rights to all of the sequels. So what's the latest with A24? Well, this past Sunday, I was sent a very interesting message from a, from a reliable source of mine who said things for A24 would become, would become apparent to you this week, and they shared other things I'm gonna get into. And then sure enough, we're only on Wednesday, and yesterday, or we're on Thursday at this point, but Wednesday is when this came out. On Wednesday, The Wrap put out an interesting report to let us know that A24 wants to expand into commercial territory, which explains their interest in Halloween. This next bit this next bit comes from a recap from iHorror that put out an article earlier today, earlier yesterday, Wednesday, because it's going to be Thursday by the time I upload this. The strategic shift towards more commercial films, including a pursuit of rights to the established franchises like Halloween and taking on intellectual properties like Crystal Lake with Peacock, signifies a new chapter for A24. While the studio is not completely abandoning its roots uh, in our tour driven dramas, it is doing more exploring war exploring wide releases and widening the aperture this includes delving into various domains like documentaries adaptations and ambitious new action epics ensuring a diverse and innovative approach to storytelling basically guys yes a24 won the rights battle and from what was shared with me on sunday that was one of the things i was told and i was told it would become apparent this week from news outlets reliable news outlets that of course are not me and sure enough look what started coming out so the season of the witch universe revival that i had talked about in other videos that isn't likely to be the path that they take because what was told to me is that they are interested in michael myers projects but who is shocked to learn that <laughs> so i guess season of the witch is off the table they're going to be doing michael myers projects so not only though is a24 the new home for michael myers but they have apparently secured rights for not only tv but film so again not just the tv rights that were reported but the whole nine yards if i were to guess trank is, is going to announce this close to halloween like how malik uh, malik akad teased during the h45 convention where he referenced keeping halloween at an elevated level but hell to be honest they might announce it today or <laughs> it depends because i'm revealing it they're going to announce this soon a24 is the new home of halloween but what are they going to do with michael myers i'm going to be honest as much as introducing 
newbies with Loomis and Myers back might be the safest bet. A trilogy with Steven, who we have not seen since Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers, Jamie's son, doing a trilogy based on Steven or set around Steven, setting it 20 years after Curse wouldn't be the worst thing if done correctly. Plus, a24 might prefer to play with the thorn trilogy because that's the closest thing in the franchise i could see coming from a24 if they were doing halloween movies not to say they would do it in that manner because I, I i do have my problems with the thorn trilogy i just think the overall underlying concept that's right up a24's line of uh expertise if you will when it comes to their track record with the movies that we've seen from them in the horror genre i would say that the thorn trilogy that would be right up their alley when it comes to doing halloween movies so if they were to actually do a film trilogy while i, I would prefer personally a legacy sequel to halloween 4 or if you're not doing that start completely fresh with myers and loomis being the only returning characters uh i am also not opposed and i could see them playing around with a trilogy set in the Thorn universe with a grown-up Steven set it 20 years after the events of Curse of Michael Myers. You can have Steven who's been living with Karen and Tommy. He's going to discover that Karen is not his mother and that Tommy is not his father. He's going to learn about Michael Myers and learn how he's related to Michael Myers. Learn how Jamie Lloyd is actually his birth mother, etc. Start to develop a revenge type of fire under him go after michael myers and that's how you can kind of map out a trilogy from there i wouldn't be opposed to that if it's done well it'll be the best thing we've had from the franchise probably in a long while i have faith that a24 can do magic with this franchise with this ip that far exceeds what we just got from blumhouse i love the 2018 film but it was a slow decline from kills to ends admittedly i think ends is a better made movie compared to kills but i digress there but yes guys a24 is the new home for michael myers they have the rights to not only tv shows or they not only have the tv show rights but they have rights to the films as well uh but of course like i mentioned miramax would still be involved because they co-own the rights to all of the sequels so they would still be involved with making any movies that a24 has their name attached to but you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below what do you think about a24 being the new home for michael myers do you not care but yes while this might not be announced today it is expected to be announced by the end of the month that's what malika Cod was talking about and if it's not announced by the end of the month they're going to announce it soon because a24 has the rights i'm telling you guys they have the rights let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video